Well, hello there. This is Bob Decker, tarot card reader, certified clinical hypnotist. It's that time again. Time to do another tarot video. Now, today's date is the 11th of May, 2009. And as usual, I've drawn three tarot cards that are going to represent the recent past, uh, what's more or less the present, and the near future. Now, the first card to come up today is an eight of discs. Hold that nice and close so you can see it. The Eight of Discs entitled Prudence and attributed to the Sun in Capricorn. Now what that is saying is in the recent past we've been putting a lot of our energy, which is represented by the Sun, into the energy of the Earth, of making money, consolidating our resources, either saving or at least trying to conserve you know, during these difficult economic times. That's very understandable, of course. Uh, basically, it is suggesting slow growth, which is what people have been doing. They've been holding a back a bit, and they've been careful, and you know, just trying to do the right thing, just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and slowly but surely, keep trucking on forwards. And that's basically the energy that is expressed by the eight of discs. It's not a bad space. It's just not the quickest moving way to get to where we want to go. Now, we're at a point where we kind of need to look at things from a balanced perspective. This is the Four of Cups, okay, which is a very nice card expressing cancer energy. It's entitled Luxury. Now, I'm not going to say we're living in luxury, but then again, luxury is a relative term. If we stop and we look at what we have right now, if you just stop and ask yourself, where am I at right now? What do I have right this minute? You're generally going to find that things are not too bad. You're going to find probably that you have a few dollars in your pocket. You've had enough to eat today. You're not starving. you got a roof over your head. You're driving something to get to and from work. Or if you don't have a job, at least you have the means okay, to physically survive. Now, of course, we want more than that. I don't deny it. And I'm not saying that these things are easy to deal with. But we're at a stage where it's good to look at what we have instead of what we don't have. I've said this before on my blogs, and I just I try to live by this. Because it's easy to get caught up in fear. It's easy to worry about the future. And if we live in the now, it just tends to make things easier. Now, it's not going to be too easy. Okay, Our next card is the moon. Now, the moon is attributed to the sign of Pisces. Now, this doesn't mean we're going to have a terrible time economically. What this does mean is that we're not going to be exactly sure about where we're going. Now, there's a pertinent reason for this, and I've touched on this before in my video blogs, uh, especially with Solaris, our astrologer. We are in a Mercury retrograde right now, and that Mercury retrograde is in the sign of Gemini. Now, Gemini rules communications. It's a very mental sign. It's an air sign that is actually ruled by Mercury. And Mercury usually affects things like computers, communications, commerce, all this stuff, business stuff, gets affected by Mercury. Now, we're going to be in a Mercury retrograde until the 24th of May. And after that, it's going to clear. In the meantime, you may find that communications are somewhat garbled, that you feel frustrated, things don't seem to work, uh, the iPhone doesn't want to work right, the computer may not want to work right. There's any number of things. Travel might be complicated. All right, It's not insurmountable, but you're going to have challenges in this area, and it's just really good to just try to stay patient, take into account it's a temporary thing that is strictly going to pass. Another thing that's real helpful to do, though, is we can help ourselves overcome these energies through prayer, ritual, and meditation. Now, I put a meditation up on my podcast site, blog.bobstarot.com. That's blog.bobstarot.com. It's not just a podcast. I do video there. I do a written blog daily on tarot cards. It's a true web, what they call web 2.0 blog. It uses all the different resources of the web to put together a multimedia presentation for you at no charge. So avail yourself of a meditation up there called Mercury Again. Okay, The Magician card keeps coming up a lot in my blogs. Maybe that's because I'm an Aquarius with a Mercury in Aquarius. I don't know. But it just seems to want to poke its head up there. The Magician, the Mercury, it's always poking its head on my blogs. 
And so I went ahead and did a meditation. Please take a look at it. The date for that on the blog will be the 6th of May. It's going to be about three or four entries down from the top of the blog. And if you listen to that podcast, it's going to put you into a process that's going to help you clear away negative mercury energy. So Laris and I were talking about that, and it's really cool. You can actually nullify a lot of the effects of mercury retrograde by doing ritual and meditation. So go ahead and check this out. It very well may be very helpful to you. Okay, I hope the blog is helpful to you. I hope the video is enjoyable and enlightening to you. And until we meet again, I do wish you, my friend, many, many blessings.